this is Mayur. Welcome to ML implementation. Today I'll be implementing principal component analysis using NumPy. So PCI is not a uh, learning algorithm. It is a feature engineering technique where we reduce the number of features from high dimension into lower dimension. So for implementing this, I'll do the same uh, two or three step process here. First is importing the packages second is model class next init method next is fit and then next is transform okay so i'll just write down how it will happen right like consider we have like a number of features underscore like some amount like x50 around 50 features we have by applying PCA, what will happen is we will turn this number of features into PCA underscore one component, PCA underscore two component. So whatever these features tries to influence, right? Like however these features try to influence the target variable, where the same kind of influence can be done by PCA components or PCA principal components here. Though it will not be perfect because there will be some amount of variance which is left out which cannot be captured by PCA. So that is the ultimate goal here. Okay, let's import our packages. NumPy as NP and uh, for data set SK learn data sets as DS. Since this is done next is to write the class PCA class. So let's uh, initialize the number of components we want to project onto. N underscore components is equal to two. So if I have like hundred features, I'll try to what project it onto two features. Okay, two features or two principal components is equal to n components. Okay, next is fit method. So for doing this projection, we need to do some set of manipulations on top of our data. First step is main centering to avoid or to reduce multi collinearity. Okay, I don't know the spelling of multi collinearity. Let it be. Okay, x x underscore self dot mean is equal to np dot mean x comma axis is equal to zero okay then we have to transform data into reducing the collinearity x minus of self dot mean next is finding the covariance of our x so it will try to form a linear relationship between our independent features if there is no multicollinearity okay so covariance is equal to np dot co into x dot transform it's because the by default x will be of shape uh, like number of samples samples slash features so i'll turn it into by transfer uh, transpose i'll turn it into features into samples okay it will give us the linear uh, transformation between the features or variables once this is done we have to do decomposition of our covariance matrix eigenval comma eigenvec so for this we need to use something called as linear algebra module from numpy and then we have something called as eigen h so this will what uh, decompose our covariance matrix into a uh, few components called as eigenvalue and eigenvector so eigenvalue will represents the amount of variance okay by these principal components captured from the data points x and x's we have so let's uh, uh, transform our so let's sort our eigenvalues because the greater the eigenvalue greater the variance captured from that particular eigenvalue okay 
eigen indices is equal to np dot arg sort of eigen val okay then we have to reverse it because by default arg sort will give an uh, increasing order so we want to decreasing order we have to do it okay once this is done we have to eigen value is equal to eigen val of iphone indices this is indices next is eigen vector eigen vector is equal to com this one indexes okay so once this is done next is we have to capture our components number of components we want to take from our eigen vector which we have already declared here in components we have to capture from eigen vector eigen vector is equal to comma zero colon self dot n underscore okay so once this is done we have transformed our uh, x into x projection here next we want to do transform method here so which will take in our x which is nothing but x is equal to x minus self dot mean next is we have to np dot x comma self dot n underscore component dot transform so this transform I'm doing because the dimension should match actually and we have to look at it actually once I'm not sure if this will work we just have to check once again okay let's take our data set data set is equal to ds dot load iris then uh, x comma y is equal to dt dot data comma dt dot target okay next is we'll fit up pca we'll create initialize the pca here okay and then we'll fit it on our data set okay then transform x underscore projected is equal to pca dot transform of x okay we are getting an error here let's see where we can we have to modify so here let's see what is the dimension we are getting here print of self dot in underscore components sorry we are not trying to do this one dot shape but this is 4 comma 2 right okay 4 comma 2 so what i'll do is we have to convert that into so yeah this is true like we have two features only that is true next is i'll just take this off then okay let's see uh, what is our x dot shape and projected one x underscore projected dot shape okay okay so finally we have what 150 records previously it was uh, having four features now we have turned it into two features so let's see how our data points are looking on uh, the visualization when we visualize okay so for that i'll import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so for this i have written a code already so we'll just import that here we have that code I hope it is capturing everything right x and uh, x projected do we have y yeah we have y okay let's see this one okay so we can see our principal components here which are able to what clearly still distinguish between our features actually all our data points separately so we are almost done with our principal component analysis so one of the things which really is confusing is this transformations we have to do 
x transform and the transpose i mean okay so these are just one series of step first is mean centering followed by covariance then decomposition of the covariance matrix and then sorting our eigen values based on the greater the uh, eigen value greater is the variance captured by that particular eigen value and then reducing it to what number of uh, features we want or number of components we want and that's it so i hope you are able to understand this particular feature engineering technique if you find this video helpful do subscribe and thank you